What's up, YouTube? This is Never Lucky. Gonna give you a quick, hopefully quick game. Um, we're gonna be spectating one of our other players, uh, Envy. We're gonna watch him. Hello. Oh, yep, say hi for everyone. Hello. Um, we're gonna watch him hopefully sack some people with some any fin power in here. Alright, so first play. off, uh, fight. he's playing Druid, so he's back. I will fight with honor. Um, if right. we're playing Druid, I think we mulligan everything. Um, so, Aldor's not that useful. I would assume so. Like, you're not gonna Aldor anything in the early game anyway. And Blue Guild doesn't trade anyway, okay. like with any value. That's fine. Oh, the barn's I got a slower hand now, but the Barnes is really good. The Barnes is gonna be <coughs> better, like... He's not gonna hopefully aggro you down. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. No, I mean, he played that knowing that it is, uh... I, I mean, everyone knows that this is any fin Paladin by now. That's not true. At rank 17, I could definitely see both against the hand buff version. Yeah, I guess that's right, but... You should know by now that almost all of Hearthstone is net decking and fun, no fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Buffing in is 100% serious, okay? Don't even like... It's a serious... Yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's easily the best version of Paladin. Easily. Who needs OTKs, okay? That's pretty good. Um. Yeah, actually that's... Just keep can, tapping. Yeah, just keep some of the roots and... We're not taking too much damage, especially, especially if you hero powers every turn, so... And he's not building up jades, which, like, that's good, but at the same time, like, we haven't seen a jade card, so that makes me wonder if he's playing some, like, old school Malagos or something. Um... You definitely Barnes here, I think. It can test the board. Yeah, anyway. cause I, I, yeah. Tonight, a And you have a Doomsayer in the hand, so, like, that's really good. That's, that's okay. really good. See, just listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nourish? Yeah, yeah. coin Nourish. That's, that's, if they coin on the board, Nourish. Alright, he went Unless, for mana. He went, oh, wow, you're right, he did. <clears throat> uh, that, that makes me think Ancient of War is in my hand. I don't see why you would do that before, you know, turn 7. Oh, and the Finja. That's a really good top deck, so... We need an equality. Yeah, that's the only... Well, I mean... We're still not sure if this is Jade or not. Like, this might be the Malagos deck. Yeah, or he's, he's, he's playing even the Toon deck. And very conservatively. Like, we should have seen... But he didn't draw any of, his any of his ramp cards. Outside of Nourish. Yeah. I guess. Like, we didn't see Jade Blossom. We didn't see Idol. We didn't see Jade Spirit. Unless he just has a really bad hand. That could be the case, too. Yeah. You know, the deck is very inconsistent. And having the weapon and, like, the charger in hand going into turn six uh, makes the Finja just that much better. Oh, yeah, especially if we can, like, you know, especially if it's, like, not an Ancient of War or something big and beefy, hmm. uh, we can get a lot of value yeah. out of the Finja here. Oh, okay. Oh, it is well, even, even even with this though, yeah. Oh, this even with totally this fine. though, this is gonna be really good yeah. for us here. Cause so, on, it, on its weapon. own, it doesn't kill the Finja, so that's great. Right. Yeah, and you know, for people who don't know, um, Finja doesn't practically die if it's if it would be lethal, but would not with the Murloc War Leader buff um, until after his opponent <coughs> has gone through. So I had to show <coughs> Drew that the other day. He was wondering why my, why my Finja yeah. didn't die um, when it was an even trade. The War Leader buffs, you know, they apply immediately. I like so, how... we didn't play the other bluegill to go for damage because we needed to trade. Um, and his only option to trade right now is, like, swipe. Yeah, swipe He's going to swipe the war leader if he has it. Oh, my God. Or, what, Wrath Living Roots? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So I'm pretty sure this might be Malagos. Yeah, it's really bad. <clears throat> but like, th this can't be like Aviana either. Like, no. you can't mix out with the Jade, uh -huh. so. Um, so the question now is, do I Vigil, or, or do I just play the Ivory Knight for Tempo? Or is this a Doomsayer turn? You know, is this a Doomsayer turn? I mean, we don't, no, we don't, I don't have Tyrion to follow it up, though. We don't, we don't have Tyrion, Light Lord, and Let we're only on turn. We're going to turn 8 next turn, which means we can't anything anyways, so. But what if we, like, Doomsayer, Blue Gale, Guy, and that way we try to set up for a cheaper Solemn Vigil on the next turn? Is that... Is that a thing? Because Doomsayer would kill off four guys. We'd, be a, we'd have a one mana vigil. Let me think. Yeah, I can see that. Or do you think establishing our, uh, Ivory Knight is better? I think finding another spell from Ivory Knight might be better. Okay, let's try that. In the long run. I mean, it puts a body on the board too. It's fine. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with uh, choose one. And we're going to draw a card real quick. Yeah, I like, I like this the most. Actually, I like the Doomsayer the most, but, you know. The Doomsayer is just questionable because we don't have a follow-up play. Yeah, we do. And, like, yeah, we could have drawn into the follow-up. And then we draw into uh, the best seven drop that we have in the deck. Sure, but what, what would we have to get rid of? We would have to get rid of the Bluegill, and we would have to, we would have to tap again. Yeah, like... <clears throat> We also would have printed, like, you know, this kind of board being set up. I mean, like, it's not like we can't answer it, you know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so like, I can literally Pyro Consecrate and yeah, it clears his board. Yeah, no, that, I, I actually like that play a lot here. He's, he's, he's down to three cards on his next turn. And he's already done... Has he done the second Nourish yet? No. Alright, so one Nourish out of uh, 19 cards. Yeah, I think we're fine here. And I can play the Solemn Vigil. Alright, here's the drawing Tyrion slash anything. Alright, there's Tyrion. Oh, there's Tyrion, perfect. And now joining the scene we have Mr. Nightmare. Or Frank Sr. Say hello. Hello. You see, your breath smells like beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kid-friendly channel, okay? Where shall I strike? Druid of the Claw? Alright, this is some guy who is like, I can't go. afford any good cards, so I'm gonna build Druid. Do I throw the Tyrion out? Uh. You know, I almost like, uh, Truce. Or, I almost like the Bluegill and the Iron And just Knight double trading? And double trading here. Um, and then establishing, like, the Acolyte think. and Hero Power. Do we um, establish the Acolyte or do we just Doomsayer? Oh, Doomsayer into Bluegill, or into anything. Yeah, 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 do do what I said. D double trade and Doomsayer. Like, going into because we, we've killed off all our Mer Oh, we, we have one more leader, but Barnes pulled one. So. Yes. Yeah, we get, we get a full end, we get a full first end. That's really good. <coughs> Almost could have gotten for the double Doomsayer, um, to guarantee it, too. In case he plays Mulch oh, or something. I mean yeah, and he's, already, he's down one nourish already, so I don't think there's a way he can come back here. Oh, and now we just get the value, the any fin, because we want him to swipe these murlocs. Or answer them. Yeah, dude, that, oh, see? That's... So good. And now we just push face him. No play. And there's the GG. I can see. Right. That was a pretty quick game. Uh, do you feel like doing another one? Yeah, sounds right. good. Let's just do another one. And for all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, Dueling Book is now open. So if you missed the end, go check that out. And if you play Magic, I don't play that game, so can't help you. <laughs> I can hardly stand a man on Hearthstone. So when 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 can we expect some nerfs in an upcoming patch? 
Um, when's the rotation happening? Well, we still don't have a set date. When's it officially happening? We, we, didn't, we didn't get a set date for that? I mean, if it's been out, put out there, I haven't seen anything. Uh, we just know that the rotation is happening in spring. Pro probably March, because, you know, they don't want to wait too long into the year. Um, Against Rogue? Um, Wicker Flame is good for pirates. Uh, Pyro can be, because we have the coin. Um... I think Aldor is the um, only thing I'm iffy about. Like, I think we might keep I I, one for Edwin. Yeah, I mean, either Edwin or um, Tomb Pillager. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, I like. So I think we keep Pyromancer and one of the Aldors. You're gonna put the Wicker Flame back. Yeah. Yeah, if he has pirates, we because can, we just... we have we have a lot of outs for Pyro. Yeah, or sure. With Pyro. Yeah, that's fine. And the acolyte's really good here. That is really good, yeah. Because now we can even let him establish a little bit more of a board and have the pyro combo with the acolyte. So, get some good draws going. So, no pirates on turn one. Um, I th we just pass here. Yeah, there's no reason to coin anything out. I like how the, the Pyromancers are the only uh, gold cards in your deck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, so I, I think we just keep feeding 1-1s one into his weapon here. <coughs> I can agree with that. Reporting for duty. Like, if he establishes a board here then... Or something we can coin out a, uh, a Barnes to tempo it or a consecration if we need to. Probably not that, but you know. Like one of the cards I'm iffy about in this deck is for sure. I'm only playing a one of uh, Forbidden Healing. Same. And it it does come up sometimes, but. Drawing it early game like this kind of sucks. Um, I have used it a couple times as a pyro activator for like not like no healing. Okay. So since he went face here, I think we play the we coin the barns because tomb pillagers next turn. Um. Because then we can true silver also next turn. Yeah, coin barns seems like the best play here. In any, in almost any scenario. Oh, wonder. <clears throat> you know, maybe he didn't kill the one one because he has fan, but if we pull a warrior or a blue girl, we don't care. Anyway. We got a blue girl. Excellent. <clears throat> Dude, you gotta, you gotta get that face damage in, so you know, that's how you win the game. Okay. Oh, oh okay. That was. So he's uh, he's playing. Either a slower list, or he has, uh, he has a really good gadget hand. Uh, Shadow Strike tells me Malagos is in his deck list. That also might be true. Um, um I think we just play the Acolyte here, for sure. We don't have anything better to do. <clears throat> So if it is Malagos, then we need to start pushing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Malagos, because he keeps going face. It, it is Malagos, yeah. So we need to push more damage faster. So, true silver, um, going face to heal two here is pretty good. Um, What do you think about Pyromancer? And then Pyromancer, hero power, and then forbidden healing. Because we have to start drawing bigger cards. I feel like our options are either that play or true silver and hit him in the face with it. Uh, only because next turn we can pyro consecrate if we wanted to do that too. Okay. Um, I think both are fine. True silver puts us almost back up to full anyway, and it does rush the game down and damage. <clears throat> if I'm wrong, then oh well. Oh. The play that I suggested, we use more resources, but we also gain advantage a little bit because we're digging deeper faster. Cause like, yeah. Like, See, no, this is where I like the, <clears throat> the pyro. 
And no patches came out. Oh, you're right. So he has it in his hand. Or he just doesn't play it, but I don't know why you would play that card and not play I mean, the patches. I mean, we, we are we are at rank 17. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, wow. Really? Really. That's actually... Mm. That's no, what? no. That's that, that's totally fine. Like, this is actually this is actually really good for us because I get two trade. draws. Of, uh, yeah. Oh, dude! I told you, Pyro consecrate play was correct. Oh. Uh, we have. Do I to play the fin? And then just draw one. Um. Yeah, the sooner we establish Finja, the sooner we get closer to our win condition, especially since we have anything in the hand already. So then the next question is, do I attack the 1-3 or do I clear a 1-1? One, one? You you clear a 1-1, one, 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 I feel. Oh, that makes actually a lot of sense why he did that. Never mind. Why is that? He, he's oh, he's oh trying my. to ruin the any fin. Oh, you're right. That will. Oh, wow. That will summon. I forgot. It's all Murlocs, not just the ones that we lost. Yeah. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Move quickly. So now we have to start playing more conservatively to not kill those. <laughs> yeah. We just have to keep pushing face more now. We arguably we could have also attacked his face with the weapon there, um, since we have the Archer Silver in our hand. That's true. I don't think that was his play was correct though, still, because he did it so early. We also don't know what's in his hand. Like what's in his hand? Oh, excuse me. Um. <clears throat> I mean, who knows? Maybe his hand is like stacked for like gadgets or um, a Malagos play. Ooh. All right, the consecration here. Uh, is consecrate? Is, yeah. That will ruin our anything. I mean, we're already past that. Okay, sure. Then, yeah. We just have to pray and hope that it that it works out. Let's go for it then. Because they're, they're, they're he's, he's gonna he's gonna tap every turn. Yeah. So we're gonna attack first, and then we're gonna vigil so the murlocs come out. Yeah, exactly. Um. Light Lord's really good here. Um. And we're gonna swing face. Tap. Arguably, you can play a pyro too, just to get more damage on board. There it is. <laughs> I yep. All right. Thank you. This just in. Old decks from way back when. If if you summon a pirate. And you don't get patches off of it, you might be playing a bad deck. <laughs> um, so you're on a win streak right now, right? No. Uh, before we started recording, I lost that game to Pirate Warrior. Oh my god, that's like the easiest matchup. He, the deck's not good. He, he went he, he went face really hard. He had that Hobart grapple hammer. Oh, that was like the that's like week one of Mean Streets <laughs> Pirate Warrior right there. He. he <laughs> He just hit me with uh, six damage Arcanize. Yeah, that'll that'll get you. Um, <laughs> so so you're two one right now. Uh, next yes. next win is a win streak. Yes. All right, let's. You know, we're only at 19 minutes right now. We can we can probably squeeze one more in if you win fast. I'll try to. Um, but when the timer hits 25 minutes, if you haven't won yet, you're you're just gonna concede. <laughs> Alright, deal. <laughs> Alright, deal. I'm never I'm never one to back down from a challenge. Also, um, don't forget if either of us ever draw patches on stream, that's an auto PC. That's true. Oh, do you wanna or guess? Or the other rule for me and Chris is uh since he plays so much priest, if he plays uh, museum curator and he doesn't get skeleton knight, he has to scoop. Oh, that's the best one. Does he play curator in like every deck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say the other night he scoops like two or three games. 
out of the he, five he played. Is he at least playing Toronto or is he playing Anduin? Who goes there? Do you know what you're doing? Oh, wow, he has patches of sick. Oh, wow. See, he has to concede. He's not following the rules. Um, do I coin. What's his face? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, we followed it up with yeah, another. Deep. Well, if Doomsayer right. kills two, we still can't vigil. Um. Wow, I wasn't even done like that. Okay, fine. That 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 answered my thing. Oh, see, he's capping, so yeah, it's even better. Have a weapon, so you got yeah, he didn't punish you. Uh, with a, with a, actually, even Warax wouldn't have killed it, so it didn't matter. I, I think I think we coin, we coin uh, Acolyte here. Well, Acolyte. Do we? Yeah. War leader can test the board more, and if he somehow kills it, we don't care. And then we just. Or do we do we acolyte and plan on playing war leader the next turn, or do we coin mm. war leader and plan on playing acolyte the next turn? I would rather acolyte here so that we can potentially draw a card or multiple cards if he doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, if he had the war axe, he would have played that and gone face anyway. <clears throat> Unless this guy just doesn't know how to pirate warrior. Pain speak to me. Why is your acolyte not gold? Yeah, I only have two gold cards in this deck, and I only play those two gold cards because they're the only versions of that card that I own. Oh. Oh. That's. I mean, okay. right, I've seen some list taking bash in um, as removal. That's not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Alright, that's pretty good. See, actually. now I think we just Doomsayer. Um, I think we we hold, because we need these to clear things. We hold those. Yeah, because we Doomsayer establishes a solemn vigil turn. Um. Yeah. <coughs> Job's done. We're not scared of Arcanite Reaper either, so. It's only turn four. He would have to, like, have the deck hand. Not deck hand. Oh man, what's it called? What's this, the 1 1 called? Uh, that gives you a weapon. <laughs> that one. He would have to have that and, like, Heroic Strike here. You know what, for uh, for Pirate Warrior, that's a scary life to what we're looking at right now. I, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I've never seen Pirate Warrior uh, above 30 health. Finn just, Finn, Finn just getting worse. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it's, it's, getting it's actually almost as bad as it could be. For the war chief! See, I don't, I don't know if he even did. He just top deck though. I uh, did not. Why would he? Why would he play it? He didn't even attack. Um. Yeah, that's pretty weird. You're right. <coughs> I'm gonna chalk it up to rank 17 shenanigans. <laughs> that's that's gonna be oh tempo. That's you know for all the preparing. I need followers. to use. I need to use. Oh, okay. Hello. What's uh, <laughs> You know, I almost feel bad about our name being Never Lucky because this is pretty, uh... <laughs> this is pretty lucky for us. I, I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. Senior doesn't know what's happening either. He's in disbelief. It's bad when I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we definitely truce over the cultists. Like, that's just free value. And then and then we can summon Blue Girl and trade into, uh... The 2-1? The 1-1 one 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 one. with Blue Girl? Yeah, and, that, and then we sell a... An established war leader, so and a blue gill will survive. And if he wants to eat the blue gill with his weapon, then you know that's fine. We gotta get down there. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a scenario where we lose this game, to be honest. Oh man, are we gonna get to legend tonight with any Finn Paladin? Uh, probably not. What? Okay, the oh, okay. This is, I don't know what this deck is, but it's bad. <laughs> it's, He's still yeah. going face. Um, Farns here? Well, you've you've used up, you have both Doomsayers out of the deck. Um, one of the Eldors is. All but one Murloc is. Uh, so chances of Rag Two Murloc. are pretty good, actually. They're higher than they will be at Tonight. most points. I read Knights are both in the deck, though. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> lo you lost like a 60-40, so that, that sucks. 
I feel like we just Reporting we hit. I, don't know. You know I feel like I'm about to get brawled. For <laughs> 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 oh, you gotta start hitting face, dude. That armor. X marks the I am hitting face. That's the worst you gotta, part. You gotta hit face harder. Why is Pirate Warrior at 49 health, Binmar? <laughs> He's. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't get it. We just run the 2 1 and the 1 1 into it, right? Yeah, we keep the barns on the field. Yeah. You have to use the weapon here to hit him in the face. We can also sell them to the obviously. Yeah, let me play the Ivory Knight. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. <coughs> that was a good rip. Oh, uh, I... I think we might get the Blessed Champion, to be you know, honest. I, because of the armor, I think we might get Blessed Champion here. You know what, let's do it. It also uh, heals us the most, so... Do I, do I hit with the weapon now? Absolutely. Or do we care? Like... Absolutely. We have another true silver in the hand. Because next turn we can true silver and blessed champion something. Oh, you know, like the ivory knight if it lives. I always want to save the blessed champion for some reason. Um, no, I'm literally just looking to push damage. I want to get all his armor off in case of like shield clamps and stuff. I feel like we don't play Pinja. Um, no. I like true silver. Um, um, blessed. Yeah. Don't you ever try to talk over me again. Remember whose channel this is. <laughs> Mine. It's funny because you are in the description, so. So I expect by like next week to hit like 40 million subscribers, so. 40 million subscribers? That's it? Alright, you know, he match can't out of 8 4. <laughs> Bad guess. I just. I, wanna, I don't expect to beat PewDiePie, but I think we could tie him for sure. <laughs> Alright, well. All right, I'm gonna. It's a 27 minute video. That's pretty close to the mark. Um, so I'm gonna call it there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed our 3 0 win streak there. It's pretty good. Thank you. And V for playing. Thank you guys for watching. And soon there will be a sick outro, Maybe. I promise. Senior says Subscribe, goodnight. comment, like. If, Thank you let's, guys. Let's try to get 5 million likes. <laughs> Alright? Anything short of 5 million, there's no part 2 to this video. Alright. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and goodbye.